Now we will move on to next uh, lab and hiding file. From one of the previous lab, uh, we saw there is a, some file has been uh, created, but we actually went to the directory. It's not there, right? Registry key indicated it the ELF file is in a, a certain directory, like Windows System directory. However, when we went, there is a, some file has been uh, created. But we actually went to the directory, it's not there, right? Registry key indicated it the ELF file is in a, a certain directory, like Windows system directory. However, when we went there, it wasn't there, right? By just looking at it, it's because, not because of file has been deleted, it's but because of the yeah, file's attribute has been set to you know, hidden, which is not a rookie technique because it's very just very primitive you know, way of doing it, right? So, and I mean, as I mentioned, it's not rookie uh, technique, so GMO would not even care because it's too primitive or, you know, or it's more uh, just for, you know, it's using legitimate, you know, Windows functionality to hide the uh, file just from the, you know, uh, showing in the Explorer, right? So, now let's see, uh, uh, let's see the lab here, All right? You see, okay, here. For this lab, we will use the, the Procman again and then uh, see how the uh, IAM warm hide itself by looking at actual events. So let's go back to the uh, virtual box manager and revert to the snapshot and let's start the victim VM from the clean stage. Okay. And let's start the Pokemon first. And start, I am warm here. So I just start the Procman samples and I am warm. Right here and start. All right. So, and let's see the question is how did malware hide its created file? Right. We uh, learn about the, uh, you know, to filter out where the uh, create file, create means it's not going to be a you know, create file. You need to focus on the right file. Then once you find it, look around, you know, events. Uh, actually, after the, uh, after, uh, look around nearby, then you will see how this malware hiding uh, the create file event. All right? Let's uh, look at together. So now here I have a result uh, captured by the uh, prop one or the events. Now let's filter up from uh, filter the events from uh, using the uh, process name first and and apply. And also we are interested in the uh, file system events, right? The question, because the question is how this malware hide the uh, created files, right? So I will remove all other events. Then now I have way much less events here, right? I remove these other uh, events and also I put the uh, filtering as a process name here. And when I scroll it here down here, Since I am interested in the uh, a created file, I will. I am looking for the right file here yeah, somewhere. There we go. I just saw one. Here, right? Do you remember there is a ss.exe? Okay.
here. So if uh, the malware is writing a SSID file, and let's go see if it's there or not. And we saw it already. This was the first day, probably. We saw it there was a uh, file created. However, we couldn't see it. This is the this Windows LSS. Windows LSS, okay. Come here. View in detail. With the LSS, LSS.exe should be. Is it LSA? Come in here. Okay, did you add the K? Somewhere here. And should be between here, right? Because it's sort by the name, right? So it's hidden, right? So I'll go back and let's look around. What's there related to the uh, LSS here? Is it this one? There we go. When it actually, from here, when it, once it actually right click, uh, oh no, sorry, like, once it write into the file, and around here, you can see the uh, all function uh, API calls related, not API calls, uh, some operations related to the LSS.exe, right? But when you actually see here, it calls set basic information file, right? And when you click, this is uh, uh, related to the, uh, the uh, file metadata kind of type. When you double click here, it has set um, the attribute, right? Set basic information and file attribute to RHSAN. And we don't know what this one is, right? So basically, I look, look it up again. Well, then what is this each character mean? And when you go here, so I found here from this resource, MSDN again, right? And RHSAN. Here, right? We don't need. Aha, uh -huh, it's hidden, right? By setting the H uh, flag to the attribute. And it also said this is a uh, system file, right? And A, it's archive, right? It's A, and it's the normal, right? Now we, yes, what? Uh, I have three of those. You have three of those? The one in the middle sets all those attributes. But well, why would there be one in the middle? The first one says sets no attributes, and the third one says no attributes. Okay, so you saw the uh, so we have the set yeah. basic information, right? There we go. No, you know that's a question actually. And then I have one after that too. Right, one, like, two. Then, but then. let's filter it out. There's an operation. I may not have the uh, have the uh, answer, but however, let's look at it first. Operation with the set basic operation. Information file file related to the uh, LSS. I have two, so yeah, you have three, right? Oh, well, sorry, it was the system one that I was seeing. Okay. So, I, so yeah, for that file. One and two, right? Once you see it, so you have to, right? And so then the uh, question is then why is calling well, with nothing? Uh, let's think. Question. Because even you see, the, even the uh, another file on the system, it has exactly two events related to that. Actually, I don't know. However, wait a minute. Let's see. Creation time. Last access time. So then maybe changing the time information. There we go. Maybe related to the setting time, maybe. But the one when malware creates a file, it does change the creation time because if something happens when they you know foreign people comes in 
and they actually look at the you know, file attribute to see you know when it's been created, right? So this one is definitely is some you know, setting is you know time attribute. So that's that's what it is. This one, right? All right. Cool. Yeah, at least I can answer the question. So okay. Windows itself is calling the first one and automatically creating the timestamp and everything, and then it's malware. No, I think malware is calling it. Because it's specifically set, you know, to set the up of the file attribute. Because when you look, uh, looking at the, when you look at the um, explorer, you see the uh, when is file being created, right? So it's that information. It's setting that information. So there is a uh, the two kind of time information. So we learned about like the p file. P file form in a format itself actually has a kind of time stamp in it. So that is being created when it's you know, basically if it is purified when it's being compiled. Right? That is not related to the this file system file. When you actually download file and then you you know copy it into your file, that file stamp has a file system metadata. That is different from the you know the time stamp embedded into the file itself. Right, because there's a file system and there's an individual file, right? Does that answer the question then? Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. All right. So now we know this is a primitive way on uh, malware hiding a file, just setting the attribute, right? So now let's move on to uh, page 41. So we will change this attribute. Because this is the kind of functionality that Windows uh, provide. So let's uh, open the DOS prompt. And one before that, if you haven't uh, stopped capturing events, your system may slow. So may, uh, you can just you know disable the capture events from the uh, process monitor. Then you're going to be much faster uh, to run the VM. Right. So make sure you have. Uh, Disable the capture event. All right, we have the uh, DOS prompt. Let me change this one to a bit bigger. And let's go to um, system C uh so sorry C Windows C D C Windows. Let's do the IR. Do you see LS that uh EXE? How about this? So let's say um LS that EXE. Right. Why not found, right? Do you see this one? Oh, oh sorry about that. So, uh, that's that yes, yes. Anyway, do this one, or you can just look around here. So, there you could just, you don't see it, right? Here? Right, okay. K, in between K and M, there is no LSS.exe, right? So, let's uh, look at the uh, how the how you can use the uh, attri uh, attribute this uh, tool utility, right? I just did attrib and slash and question mark. So it, it is um, one of the default option you can give. Uh, you can give you know to see the uh, kind of main, this main page options. So once you see it, let's uh, remove the hidden and system attribute from the file. Attribute from the file. Now I see the result of the uh, third uh, command. Right. Good. I, I like the other. Yeah, now I see it. <laughs> and you can go even go to the uh, now uh, explorer. And once you press F5 on the C windows, right? 
uh, you should see as that start exe. And do not click it. It looks like a directory, but it is not, right? We learned that one, right? Please do not click. How about this? If you recall, I, I, do, I do know you recall everything that I mentioned during this, uh, the last two days, but I long before I probably mentioned that this ss.exe is the same file as a MS config file before, if you remember. So how I know when you once you have this asset, how about this? Hold on a second. Uh, no, let's let's do this one again. Right click and open with the CFF Explorer and focus on the MD5. You know the crypto uh, cryptographic hashes, right? What they mean? Right. That's just a cryptographic way to uh identify like make uh, make identify uh you know any file any file basically has making a very unique uh, value out of the uh, binary content right so anyway it is a D, uh, db19 blah blah and 331c right let's go to the uh, im warm directory on the malware class samples im warm and let's open with the CFF Explorer. I just uh, went to the directory to the sample malware class sample. I am warm. Warm here. Do you have that? If you don't have it, how about minimize? Do not close. Minimize all the uh, windows here. Minimize it. Minimize. Right, minimize everything, or you can uh, press Apple, uh, an iPhone, no, sorry, Windows D, then you want to close all the windows, like uh, minimize all the windows, and go to my wire class, samples, do you have that one? And then I am warm, and right click, do not double click the, uh, this uh, folder looking malware, and Click with the right click and open with the CFF Explorer and check the uh, MD5. Right? This is the same uh, same hash as this ss.exe uh, file. Here, this is the ss.exe newly created. This is a simple just a, a copy of the, uh, the original malware.exe. Right? Just, just showing you, okay, this is just the same file. Any question? So just a quick question. Um, if the hashes are the same, uh, I'm assuming that um, the, the file name is not taken into account for the hash? No, it is not. So when a uh, hash is being calculated, it only use the content of the file. So, because keep in mind that file name is a more file system metadata. It is not included inside the file itself, right? So that's why even if it has different name, but the hash value is the uh, is same if the content is same. Okay, thank you. No problem. All right. Any other question? Right, and I'm gonna let's close the victim VM. 